So how does welding work? Well, what you're doing as a welder is you're setting your entire system in accordance to the thickness of the material that you're welding on, all three of your elements. So first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to set our shield gas for inert gas processes your flux is replaced by a shield gas. Now for carbon steel, you want to use 75% argon, 25% CO2. This here, this knob right here, this is your primary valve. Your primary valve, what you want to do is you want to open this guy all the way up till it hits its peak. It might take a second. As soon as it hits its peak, you want to dial it back a couple of turns. You just want to make sure that guy is loose, okay? Now, this is a two-stage regulator system. The first stage of the regulator system is essentially just your gas gauge. It's how much pressure of the gas is left inside the cylinder. The second regulator is your flow regulator, okay? This is always measured in CFH, cubic feet per hour. It's on the outside of the regulator system, so you're gonna use the outside scale measure, measurement in CFH. This is controlled by the flow adjustment dial here. Now, this is how much flow of the gas is actually coming out of your gun to protect your puddle and to help with ionization. When you are setting this, you can set it from 20 CFH all the way up to 30 CFH. Now, here's the deal with this. When you are setting uh, your flow for your shield gas, you can, for thicker metals, you wanna make sure you have the protection around your puddle. So you wanna be up around 30. Now, thinner metals, you don't wanna overpower your puddle, too much ionization, you don't wanna add pressure to it or you're just gonna burn through. So here's a good rule of thumb. Anything that's 20 gauge or thinner, okay, that's like auto body, be around 20 CFH. Now, if you're doing really thick stuff, like, quarter inch all the time, eighth inch, or so on and so forth, you're gonna wanna be at 30 CFH. Now, what I do personally is right around 14, uh, 14 gauge metal, I start decreasing my shield gas. I'll go for 14 gauge, I'll go down to uh, 28 CFH, and then 16 gauge, I'll go down another two. This not only helps you uh, not overpower your puddle, but it also saves you a little money in the long run because you're not wasting gas. So that is your regulator system. Uh, when you are checking your shield gas, you have to have the machine running and you have to have your gun in your hand to release gas with the trigger.